In this video, we are going to be talking about the preparation of eyelashes and the cleaning of eyelash extensions. If you would like to see this same exact video, but in Spanish, be sure to um, check Adriana's channel. It'll be right up here. My name is Uli. And my name is Monica. And this is Nana y Mona. <laughs> Eyelash extension cleaning. This is something that you want to talk to your guest about because you want them to know the importance of having their eyelash extensions or just eye area clean in general. You want to let your guests know that they should clean their eyelash extensions daily and allow for the water of the shower to just fall on their lashes. And sometimes they think that, you know, when you're taking a shower, you shouldn't let water touch the lashes. But guess what? That is not completely correct. Um, so you also want to make sure that, like I said, you're cleaning them daily as well as doing at least a deep clean two times a week. Now, you do want to make sure that you do not complete this deep clean or getting the lashes wet within that 24 hour period after the initial application. So, now this cleaning, the daily cleaning, is basically to prevent any infections and to make sure that there's all, you know, all that makeup built up and dust particles and stuff like that is completely out of your lashes. Um, and obviously, the deep cleaning is you know, getting in there and deep into your lashes, that way there is no buildup, um, which is why we're only gonna be doing that at least two times a week. If you are that type of person that loves volume um, sets, what we recommend is for you to have that deep cleaning because the fans will close if they have a lot of dust particles, makeup buildup and all that other stuff. You wanna make sure that you're cleaning them very, very well because they will not have that initial appearance when you first got your set done. In some occasions, you are able to use the same exact product that you use for the preparation of the lashes as well as to complete a deep clean. Or you can use a shampoo or a lash foaming cleanser that is specifically for the lashes. Let's keep in mind that you need to make sure that you are using the brush specifically for the lash cleaning. When we're working with extensions and we're doing a cleanse, you wanna make sure that you work from top to bottom. When you're working with eyelash extensions and you're moving in circular motions, what you can do is actually tangle the extensions and you can also accidentally pull on them, which is something we do not want because it can come out with not only extension, but your natural lash as well. And once the cleaning is complete, you want to make sure that you rinse the eye area, but you do have to make sure to use room temperature or cold water because the hot water will have an effect on how the lashes stay on. And also remember that there is going to be a little bit of fallout, sorry, when you are doing these lash cleanings because on a daily basis, you do lose a little bit of lashes here and there. So once you are completely done washing and rinsing your eyelash extensions you do have to dry them you're going to dab 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 and you can do this with a towel or with like anything that dries that does not stick to the lashes like do not do it with like a cotton because once you pull it out they're gonna like stick on the extension so i mean i would just recommend a towel that would work the best. Now, once they are completely dry, which means that you have to wait at least five to 10 minutes, then you can go ahead and brush them and make them look really pretty and back to normal. Now, once you get to the drying part, you wanna make sure to take your index finger and place it right underneath the extensions and then slowly brush towards the center or towards the outside. And then you can try to fan them out so that they look back to normal. Remember that you can find 
these videos every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time, um, both on YouTube and Facebook. If you're following us on Facebook, make sure to click those little three dots so that you stay notified whenever we post anything new. If you are watching from YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, um, click that notification button, and make sure to leave any feedback in the comment section down below because we love any feedback. Thank you all so much for your constant and unconditional support. We truly, truly appreciate it. I really hope that you all enjoyed this content and we will see you all in our next video. Bye.